welcome back. And in this video, I want to talk about a few more useful commands and post exploitation modules. So what I got right here, I established my interpreter session with my Windows 10 main machine. And now let's see what else could we find useful after exploiting the target. Well, if I type the help command, somewhere around here, I believe there should be an option called search. And what search allows us to do is to, for example, search for a specific file types on the target system. So if I type search dash H, this will give me an options that I can use with this command. For example, if I wanted to find all the JPEG pictures on the target system, what I could do is I could type search dash F and then star sign dot JPEG, press enter. And what this is going to do is it will manage to extract all the JPEG images that are located on the target system. Now you can also do for any other file type that you want, and you can also mix it with one of these options right here. And here are the results. We can see there are a lot of them. All of these are JPEG files, as we can see right here. Now if we scroll all the way up, we can see that the list goes on and on. So maybe we would want to narrow it down if we were searching for something specific. But right now we got all of the JPEG files on the target system. Okay, another thing that I want to show you is the usage of post exploitation modules. How can we do that? Well, if I go and put my session in the background, clear the screen, and since we are on a Windows machine, what we can do to search for the post exploitation modules is we can type search and then post slash windows, press enter, and this will list out all 191 post exploitation modules. And you can scroll through them and see which ones you would find useful. For example, if your target has a wireless card and it connects to the wireless access point, you can use this module, type use and then the module name, show options and usually these modules will only want the session ID so they are very easy to run. You can simply just set the session ID to first of all let's check out what session ID we have and it is one so set session ID to one. Then run the program and this will list out all of the wireless interfaces and possibly the passwords of the connected wireless access points. Now since my machine doesn't have a wireless interface it simply just prints out no wireless interfaces. So these post exploitation modules depend on what you're looking for. So let's scroll a little bit up and see which type of modules we have. So we got a bunch of enumeration modules. You can enumerate Chrome to extract all the Chrome data you can find inside of that browser in case the target is using Chrome. Check for VM. So you can use this module, for example, to check out whether the target that you managed to hack uses a virtual machine or if it's a virtual machine. So let's see how that would work. We know that my Windows 10 main machine is not a virtual machine, so it should give out false as a result. So set session one, run this, checking if my target machine is a virtual one and it says it appears to be a physical machine, which is correct. You can also be more specific when searching for the post exploitation module, such as for example, type search and then passwords. And we can see right here, we get some post exploitation modules for gathering passwords, credentials, total commanders, save password extraction. Let's go a little bit up, see what else we have. Not really too interesting. However, one module that we can use to extract the hashed versions of passwords on a Windows machine is we can type search and then hash dump. Then we can scroll a little bit up and we got somewhere around here a module, here it is, called post windows gather and then hash dump. So let's copy it, type use and then paste the module name. If I type show options, set the session to be one. As you can see, they're very easy to run. Only one option is required and I type run, it will tell me access is denied. So this simply means that I'm not a system level account. We know how we can fix that, so I'm just going to do that real quick, just to show you what this hash dump post exploitation module outputs once it works. So I'm going to real quick elevate privileges. 
and here it is the privilege escalation worked from the second try and i'm going to type get system background is session and now use post windows gather and then hash dump set session to be session 2 because the session 2 in this case is the session with the system level account and if i type run this should give me the hashes of all the users on that windows machine and here they are we got the administrator hash we got the user hash and we got some other hashes as well and we could use them to crack them with some other program but more about password cracking later on in the course for now on we just managed to extract the hashes another useful option that we have that requires system privileges inside of the interpreter shell if i go inside of my system level account shell and i type the help menu scroll a little bit up i should see this option called clear ev and this stands for clear the event log what does this mean well this command will clear application system and security logs on a windows system so it is something similar to covering up our tracks how can we run them well it takes no other parameters so all we need is a system privileged account and we can type clear event and we can see right here it is wiping out records from application system and security and another thing that I want to show you before I close off this video is that you can run post expectation modules even from the interpreter shell. So you don't need to always put it inside of the background in order to run a post expectation module. You can simply just type run and then the module name. For example, I will use this one. So post windows gather and then enum underscore applications. And if I press enter for this post module will do is it will print out all of the installed applications on my windows 10 machine and we can see them right here so many different modules exist we saw there are hundreds of post exploitation modules you run all of them the same way so you can simply just go and search through them and find which one is useful for you then you can test them out and see how they work Great, now that we covered all of this you have a pretty good understanding of what post exploitation is so let's just remind ourselves of the most important things that we do after exploiting the target. We try to elevate our privileges. We create persistence in order to be able to enter that machine whenever we want. And we search for useful information on that target machine, such as password hashes, such as different files that we might find useful. And those are the main parts of post exploitation module. Of course, you can then use the commands like clear event and other commands that are used to cover up your tracks and delete the log files, which could be useful to cyber forensics in case they want to track back the person that was on that machine. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next lecture.